Uh, obviously, encryption has become a major issue for freedom of expression uh, today, and I think there are you know, basically three things to be thinking about when we're thinking about uh, encryption. So one is, how is it implicating freedom of expression? And uh, as the panel, I think, really identified, freedom of expression and encryption are really linked together very closely, in particular because encryption enables the kind of privacy that people need in order to communicate, right? to, um, you know, to associate with groups, to organize, um, for individuals to share information, to form opinions. Um, and if you don't have that kind of security that's provided by encryption, you know, it's very likely that individuals won't communicate. Uh, their expression will be chilled, their speech will be chilled. So it clearly is a freedom of expression issue. And then the question is, you know, what are the standards for thinking about freedom of expression, um, in particular, restrictions on expression? So Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights protects everyone's right to hold an opinion without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas of all kinds. And um, those are, are rights that are advanced and protected by encryption. Of course, governments have the ability to restrict expression um, on very narrow grounds. Um, and the problem there is that um, those restrictions, even if they're on the grounds of national security, are very difficult to um, target when we're talking about encryption, because encryption um, doesn't really allow for um, compromise. Um, it either works or it doesn't. You either have it or you don't. So the issues there are very difficult, but I think it's very important to um, maintain encryption as a real uh, secure tool and not to compromise it.